when you first purchase a vehicle, whether it be a car, truck, motorcycle, whatever it is, and you decide to actually go in and start modifying that vehicle, you can go one of a couple different ways. And you can either go with the looks aspect of it and start working on you know, custom paints, wheels, things like that, or you can go the other end with the performance gains and start getting into your exhaust, tuners, and your air intakes. Now me personally, when I first got my Warrior, I decided to go with the performance gains. And I went and bought the Church Key V-Back, which if you don't know, is actually an air intake system, which replaces your stock air box and your right side coffin box with pod filters. Usually no matter what vehicle you're in, upgrading the air intake system is one quick, easy way to get performance gains. And that's what we're gonna be learning about today. So stick around. Hey guys, what's up? Brian here. Thanks for tuning in today. So like I said, today we're actually gonna be learning about upgrades for the air intake system. And there are actually quite a few of them still out there if you get to looking around. And there are some of them that people don't even necessarily know about. Now, when it comes to the Warrior, there are two filters for it. You're gonna have one underneath the tank in the stock air box, and then you'll have one on the right side in that coffin filter. Now, the stock air box does a very good job of keeping the bike quiet, but it doesn't necessarily do the best job of allowing airflow through it. And everybody knows that the better the bike breathes, whether it's through the exhaust or through the air intake, the more power that you're gonna have. Now I'm gonna leave links down below to all the upgrades that I talk about today. So if there's anything in here that interests you, go ahead and check those out. Now the first one that we're gonna get into that's a nice, quick, easy way to get more airflow into the motor is just upgrading your stock filters. Now one quick, easy way to increase airflow if you're not wanting to get too much into it, not do too much work, is to replace your stock air filters with something like a k and air filter. Now k and air filters are actually gonna offer a lot better airflow through than your standard filter, and they're reusable. You will never have to purchase another air filter for your bike. Um, you can buy a cleaning kit, which I'll leave a link down below as well, and you can clean the filters, re-oil them, put them back on your bike and you're good to go. Now k and is a tried and true company. You know, they've been around for a long time. They make great quality products and they even offer a 1 million mile guarantee on their filters. Now the second air intake upgrade that I wanna talk about today are ones that come off the side of your tank on that right side. Things like your cone air filters or your force winders. Now the first one that I wanna talk about that comes off the side are gonna be your just normal cone filters that you find on Amazon, eBay, you know, wherever. And most of the times these aren't going to offer any real performance gains. Um, the filters on them are gonna be cheap generic filters. You can upgrade them to K&N, but most of the time these things are, you know, they're just cheap Chinese knockoffs. Um, they're, they look good, you know, but as far as actually gaining any kind of performance on them, most of the time, you're not gonna really gain anything. Now you do actually have a company called Force Winder, which makes a right side style cone filter as well. Um, it comes equipped with a K&N filter on it. And according to the website, it is designed to increase horsepower and acceleration. Personally, I've never had one myself. I haven't talked to anybody that's had one, um, but that is another option as well. Now the third one that I want to talk about today that a lot of people never really even think about is Ivan's upgrade. Now Ivan, the guy who actually flashes your ECU, also has an upgrade to the air filters that a lot of people don't even necessarily know exists or think about when they go to upgrading the air filters. Now what his kit does is, is it actually replaces the scoop on top of your factory air box and allows more airflow to get in that way. Now this kit, like I said, it's a quick, easy install. It actually allows you to keep your stock air box in place. And that's also going to reduce on any kind of mess from oil coming out of the crankcase breathers or pod filters or anything like that. Now, according to the website, it does actually give you three plus horsepower gain. And it's like I said, super quick and easy. And I believe it's only $30 for the piece. Now, one big thing that you might want to do is upgrade those filters at the same time that you're doing this, which will cost just a little bit more money, of course. Now, the third option that I wanna talk about today are going to be your pod filter setups, like your big air kits and your V-backs. Now the first one that I want to talk about is actually doing a DIY kit. 
Now, I did a video previously where I showed you how to pull off the coffin filter, how to pull off the stock air box and everything, and actually install a nice, clean DIY VBAC or big air kit. Now, if you did not see that, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the top right hand corner and you can go ahead and check that out. Now, one that actually compares a lot to that one to me is going to be the Baron's Big Air Kit. Now, this one is gonna be the only Big Air Kit on the list that I talk about. Now, the difference between a V-back and a Big Air Kit is the velocity stacks on them. And the velocity stacks sit on the throttle bodies and the filters sit on that, where as opposed to the Big Air Kit, the throttle bodies have the filters just directly on them. Now, the velocity stacks, what they do is actually allow smoother airflow in to hopefully increase more horsepower and torque. Now, the big air kit from Barron's, one cool thing about it is it actually comes with a coil relocation kit, which neither of the other kits come with. Now, if you do decide to go with one of the other kits or do it yourself, you can actually purchase that plate from a forum member named Akita Dog, and it's gonna be the same exact thing, and it'll allow you to relocate those coils, do everything the same exact way as that Barron's kit does. Now, one thing about the Barron's kit is it says it comes with K&N filters, but after reading some of the reviews, people are saying that it doesn't. So that is one thing that's kind of up in the air and I'm not sure about. And personally, me, myself, Barron's is kind of on the lower end. That's not the one that I would actually go for myself. Um, if you're wanting to go for something that's actually going to increase more horsepower, more torque, you're gonna to wanna to look into the next two. Now, the second one that I wanna talk about is going to be the Church Key V-Back. Now, like I said, this is actually a Velocity Big Air Kit. So it has these stacks that go on top of the throttle bodies. Now, the Church Key VBAC is made by a forum member. Um, it's tried and true. When you ask around, a lot of people will swear by it. Now, personally, this is one I went with. Um, he does not include K&N filters with it, but you can purchase them yourself and upgrade it. But this is actually a kit that's going to give you noticeable gains in horsepower and torque. Now, the third one that I want to talk about is going to be the Patrick's Racing Velocity Big Air Kit. Now this comes from Patrick Racing, a company who was known to race warriors. So it comes with their experience and they also sink a lot of time, money and effort, you know, into research and development on these things to get the most amount of power out of it that they could. Now, this is actually going to be one of the best setups that you can get if you plan on running like a 110 kit. Um, it works just a little bit better than the Church Key V-Back does. And the Patrick Racing one gives you more horsepower whereas the church key gives you more torque. Now the last one that I actually want to talk about today are going to be the Speedstar Velocity Stacks. Now the Speedstar Velocity Stacks are one that you don't see a whole lot, um, but they are a Yamaha genuine part and they were made to work with the Speedstar ECU, the cams and everything like that. Now these don't use any kind of filter and to me personally, that's just something that freaks me out, you know? I don't like the fact that they're open. Now they do actually have a sock that you can put over it and it pretty much works out to like pantyhose. But you know, to me, that's just not filtering out enough for me. And I don't like the thought of anything getting in there. But like I said, they are a Yamaha genuine part and they were made to work with all the speed start stuff. So it is another option that's out there. Now guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hopefully this video was able to kind of give you just a few ideas on how to upgrade that air intake if you're looking to, you know, increase your horsepower and your torque. Now, like I said, personally, I want the Church Key V-Back, um, but there are tons of other options out there. So check them out. Like I said, I'll leave links to everything I talked about today down below. So if you're looking for anything, go ahead and check those out. Um, guys, be sure to like and share this video. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Scroll down, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, get notified to my new videos when they come out. You know, other than that, guys, we'll see you next time.